Earthquakes occur when Earth's tectonic plates, enormous pieces of the planet's crust, suddenly slip past one another after building up tension over time. When the stress between plates exceeds the friction holding them together, they abruptly shift, releasing massive amounts of energy in the form of seismic waves that travel through the Earth. These waves travel in different patterns. Primary waves compress and expand the ground like an accordion, while secondary waves move soil side to side, and surface waves roll across the Earth's surface like ocean waves. When these waves reach populated areas, they shake the ground beneath our feet, causing buildings to sway, objects to fall, and in severe cases, widespread structural damage. Scientists measure earthquakes using seismographs, instruments that detect and record the ground's movement during seismic events. The traditional Richter scale measured earthquake magnitude by the height of waves on a seismogram, with each number representing a tenfold increase in ground motion. Today, seismologists prefer the moment magnitude scale, which measures the total energy released by an earthquake and provides more accurate readings for larger events. A magnitude 5 earthquake might cause light damage, while a magnitude 7 can devastate entire regions, with each magnitude representing about 32 times more energy than the previous number. Beyond magnitude, scientists also measure intensity using scales like the modified Mercalli intensity scale, which describes the observed effects of an earthquake in a specific location. Understanding how earthquakes work and how we measure them helps communities prepare for these unpredictable natural events, potentially saving countless lives through better building codes, warning systems, and emergency preparedness.